In this lesson, we're going to learn about data acquisition, commonly called DAC, with our MyDAC device. We'll create a VI which performs an audio loopback. In other words, the source plugged into the MyDAC audio in channel will be heard on the audio out channel. Also, for good measure, we'll display the signal on a graph indicator on the front panel. Let's start off with a blank VI and place the DAC Assistant Express VI on our block diagram to collect the audio signal. The DAC Assistant provides a user interface to assist with DAC configuration. Through this interface, all required data acquisition parameters can be conveniently set up using a wizard. The DAC Assistant can be found in the Measurement I.O. subpalette under NI DAC MX or in the Quick Drop menu. Once we place it on our block diagram, the DAC Assistant wizard is initialized. Once the initialization is complete, we'll see a wizard-based set of screens which will allow us to specify all of the relevant information for our task. The first screen is to select whether we want to acquire signals or generate signals. In our case, we want to acquire an analog voltage input. Once we have chosen our input, we have a choice of which device we want to use. We will select our MyDAC device and choose the audio input left and audio input right as our channels. You can select multiple items from the list by holding down the control or shift keys. Now we have finished creating our task. The next screen is our task configuration. Here we have the ability to manipulate various properties. We will adjust our signal input range for both channels to plus minus two volts. We will also increase the number of samples read to 10,000 and the rate to 100,000. Press OK. The DAC Assistant now verifies the task and begins building the code necessary to run this data acquisition task. Now that we have a data acquisition task to collect data, we need a task to write the data to our audio out. This again can be done using our DAC Assistant. Instead of selecting Acquire Signals, we will choose Generate Signals. Again, choosing our device as the MyDAC and with channels Audio Output Left and Audio Output Right, let's configure our task to match the other DAC Assistant. Connecting the signal's output to the signal's input, we are almost done. Just right click on the wire and create a graph indicator. Now if we plug in an audio source and speakers, we can run the program. Notice we get a small blip on our graph, but what if we wanted to collect data continuously? We could always press the Run Continuously button, but that really isn't the most efficient way to run our code. Another option is to use a while loop. While loops run until a certain condition is met. A while loop can be found in our Structures palette or by using the Quick Drop menu. Click on the block diagram to place the loop, and now drag the mouse around our code to size the while loop. Because we are going to be running our code continuously, we need to change our task configurations. Double click on the input DAC assistant to open the task configuration. Change the acquisition mode from N samples to continuous samples, and click OK to close the wizard. Now we'll do the same thing for the output DAC assistant. Finally, we need to have a condition to tell the while loop when to stop. For this, we will create a stop button. Now if we run our code, we will have an audio loopback. When we press stop, our program stops. In this lesson, we learned about data acquisition with our MyDAC. We created a basic audio loopback program that utilized the DAC Assistant Express VI. Finally, we encapsulated our code within a while loop.